Morning guys. Well, as you can see, I'm down on the river. <clears throat> uh, my son and my grandson came down and pulled all the traps there the other day. And last night I was skinning that mink and muskrat. And I was looking at the pile of traps and I said, boy, something don't look right. So I kicked them around a little bit. And I kept finishing the mink and the muskrat and I said these them still don't look right so I started counting them up and I noticed I was missing a 280 I said geez they must have forgot one or something so I called Bo and he said no I got them all poppy I said okay Bo well I thought about it thought about it thought about it and I knew how many I had down here so after an hour hike down here, nice and slow, I'm taped up pretty damn good, tight, but I'm going to be feeling this later. I found the 280, and of course, it's got to have a beaver in it. Thankfully, it ain't a big beaver. So I should be able to get up out of here all right. All right guys, I'll get him out of here and load the trap up. And I got to thinking about it. There may be, I'm not sure, but I think, I know we had, I don't know if he pulled that trap down there with the that I had set for the uh, the mink in that tunnel. I'll check it on the way down. If I got anything, I'll show you. All right, guys, wish me luck. Yeah, that was right. They forgot another one. I can't blame them. You know, they came down when it was in the evening and got dark on them. Can't expect a nine-year-old to remember where his grandfather set traps first time going. All right, guys, I'll get this rat out. And get hiking up I don't I'm about halfway so doing good all right guys all right guys just back up this roadside stream bull bear can't come check traps tonight so it's up to me oh, that's rough that's rough boys oh, on there Alright guys.